living is good Out in the great outdoors Larry Smith Outdoors is brought to you by Warrior Boats, Vortex, Tub O' Towels, Leroy's Meats, Bart Line Barrels, Magic Products, Power Sports Company, Mike's Country Meats, Baronet Blinds, Drexel Building Supply, Eskimo and the MRD Group. Out in the great outdoors. Hey, what's up guys, it's Jared. Just a little reminder that Larry will be speaking at the Madison Fishing Expo on Saturday, February 25th and Sunday, February 26th. Saturday at 2 p.m. and Sunday at 12 p.m. Check out the website for more information and we'll catch your heinies there. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to this week's show. I'll tell you what, like I do each and every week, we're definitely out having a good time with our good friend Chris. Hey, from Badgerland Tires. Going, buddy? What's going on at the tire shop today? Oh, she's slow. She's, she's slow. Business is slow. I'm, I'm on fishing, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to wonder in the winter if you like it slow because yeah. then you can fish more or yep, what? Exactly. Oh. Exactly. It gives me more free time. Hey, I'll tell you, you are one of them kind of people that is always on the hunt for a good bite. Yep. And you know what? I mean, you have put us on over the years on some absolutely great bites. What is your suggestion when you're looking to find different bodies of water as far as how do you find different bodies of water? Well, like this time of year being as midwinter, I like to find deeper lakes, sand okay. grass, stuff like that. Uh, fish seem to stay a little more active in the deeper water than they do in the shallower water. So that's what I kind of started doing. That's what we're doing today is we're hitting sand grass and deep rocks and we're trying to catch some walleyes, small mulls, yeah. and pike. Nope. But, so, but there's so many lakes in Wisconsin, Minnesota, Dakotas, but people really need to know that, that there's so much information out there you can just go online yeah. and start researching lakes. And you know, you fish a lot of lakes that don't turn out, yes, right? I mean, when I was talking about that on the way out here, never be afraid to fail on something. Yep. And so, you know, how do you find a good lake? You go to a lot of lakes and eliminate yep. lakes, right? Yep. That's probably the biggest thing right there. Let's talk about your kids outing that you guys need to know about this. Oh. Now, Chris, this is a huge thing. Huge. Huge. Let's talk about this. Um, it's going to be February 18th at Shano Lake at Bamboo Bar. Um, it's free for kids, 15 and under. Uh, tons of prizes. Tons you of give prizes. away so much stuff to these Tip kids. Up, bikes, fishing rods, whatever. Uh, uh, free lunch yeah, for the kids. Going. And. Um, it, it, it's a big deal. We had 536 kids last year, and we got a big tent on the ice. So food, food, food's included. Woo! That it sounds absolutely great. Absolutely nothing. Just show well, up. Nothing. You just got to register before um, the tournament. Look up Badgerland Kids Classic on Facebook, and we got all the details there. Hey, I'll tell you what. He does a bang up job on this tournament here, and it's a great way to introduce yep. your kids to fishing yep. and to get a chance to win in some some really great prizes. Yeah. Yep. Hey, it's dude! Oh, tip up! Tip up! Let's go! Stinker! Stinker! Go! 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 Tip up! He's like, <laughs> what? Tip up, Stinker! It's the other way. Hurry up, cameraman! If you don't get your ten thousand steps in today, Something's you're a slacker. Wrong? Where's this one at, Chris? See that tree wiggling way in the background? Oh! Oh, that little dot. Right. Now let's get over there. Oh yeah, I like that. <laughs> Hey everybody, I tell you something that a lot of people probably don't know that, uh, you know, obviously we only show you when we're successful at catching fish. You know, I fish every day that I can. Like this is my number one thing to do. The people that we hang around with are the same way. Having the passion to come out here and just to go fishing is one thing. It's not really always about catching, uh, which, you know, you always hope you are gonna catch fish. But today is an interesting deal because we're up on, in northern Wisconsin here, we're on a really good body of water that Chris found a long time ago, and he invited us out here. It's a great bass lake, it's a great perch lake, great walleye, great pike lake. It's a, definitely a multi-species body of water. But I almost forgot about Little Stinker, and I'll tell you, I got him in his kennel on the way up here. Jaren's behind the camera today, and he, go, he, he goes to me, did you fart? And I look at him like, 
No, I'd be proud if mine smelled like that, right? And it was Little Stinker. We get out of the truck, and I look in his kennel. Little Stinker definitely laid a stink. So give us a wink. Blair, why is he pouncing at me? I'm not doing anything wrong. Dude, what are you talking about? He's you... pouncing at me. Like he's trying to... You just asked me. You just said to me, yeah, it's a beautiful day. And I said, yeah, this is absolutely awesome day for this lake. And that's what Stinker said the same thing. You don't know that's how skunks communicate? Well, I thought he would at least talk. No, that's say... how they do talk. So he can't actually say anything to me? No, he well, he can, but it's all through, all through his feet. Oh. They talk with their feet, stomps. Here we go, we're hooking our golden shiners. Uh, number 10 treble, Gamagatsi. Right in front of the dorsal. 25 pound floral leader. Dinker, tip up, let's go, where's the tip up? You know something, Stinker? You made it about 20 feet, that was it. You need some exercise. No more cookies for you. Hey, Craig, what do you got going on here? Little Stinker only made it about, like crazy. about 40 feet. <laughs> it's running like crazy. Little Stinker wasn't. <laughs> oh, I like that when you get that look on your face. Hold on. Stinker, what do you That's think? That's the thing. You never know what you Stinker said smallmouth. No way. It's just coming in so A dogfish? No, don't, don't, don't tell him that. You don't <laughs> like dogs. That is a nice one. Stinker, there he is. Whoa, Stinker! Look at that! Woo! <laughs> nice job, Greg. Hey, I'll tell you, I thought Little Stinker would have been a little bit better on that one. He doesn't like it when the tip-ups are spread out so far. He likes it when they're close. You know what? He's good. He's a little chunky. Check out his belly. Look at that. Look at that belly on him. <laughs> right. All right, Stinker, let's go back and do some jigging, see if we can get one on a shiver metal. That's your favorite bait, shiver minnow. Right, there'll be more tip-ups. I hope you're not bad luck. Oh, he's not bad luck at all, all right. let me tell you. Right. He might stink a little bit, but he's got to hold his reputation down, right? I mean, who, like, if you're going to have a pet skunk, who would name it Charlie? Or who would name it Matt? Little stinker, right? I mean, even though his scent gland is removed, he still does have a little stink to him. Why is the furthest one the one that's always going up? <laughs> Yeah. Crazy. I'm like, better oh, Perfect. Did you get that on camera? Jumped right out the hole. This show is in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> Almost out of line. Oh, well, oh my God. It feels like, no, it feels like a good one, guys. This fish ran out a lot of line. That's what typically these fish in deep water, sand grass do. They run quite a bit. There's a the bobber finally. Deep water pike. Just in case you get one wet foot. <laughs> no, that's funny. We were in a little slump there for a half hour and now we're back on. Oh, 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 oh baby! We'll hit that one on the run. Don't let stinker down though. God darn it. Might not have any line left on there, Scott. Oh do you? Okay. It looks like he's going to town. Stinker. What do you see? <laughs> it's like, I don't like this. He's like, don't, don't put me back in the box, please. <laughs> I feel warm, though. Yeah, he does. He doesn't mind. He likes oh, to. Here we go. Woo, nice job. Hey, number 20 trouble hook and six pound <laughs> test line. Not too shabby. Catch anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm oh, thinking. There's the bobber. There's the bobber. Oh, right. oh, there's 30 feet. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, big pike. Dandy. Nice pike. That's a dandy. That's a good one, though. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah. Mid 30s for sure. Whoa. Oh, oh, that is a big that? pike. Oh, you got to hold that one up, Scott. Holy cats. Look at that, that's a tank. Look at that pipe. Hey, there's seven right now. Oh, I love that sound. You know he's a big pipe. Got that thunk, 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 thunk. Woo! Nice. Stinker still is saying he thought it was a walleye. Clearly, we saw it was a pike. I don't understand how you can think that was a walleye. It was not a walleye. You gotta know. Do I have to get a. a 
identification book for you so you know the difference between a walleye and a northern. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's got pike right Oh, there. yeah. Here we go, folks. Oh, yeah. Pike. I don't know if I can beat that one that Scott got, though. Oh, there he is. Oh. 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 I, was, I was grabbing Stinker to bring him out here, and he said, I ain't coming because I know it's another pike. Stinker's like, he doesn't like the pike, so he says, hey, you catch one walleye, and then you can take me back out there. I don't know, a lot of people don't like pike. I like to eat pike, I say it all the time, but I certainly love to catch them. Ah, I love it. Hey, want to hear my impression of an elk? Right, want to hear it? Yeah. Oh, I like that. What? You know when you set it and they oh, pull your hand back? Oh, I, I like that too. <laughs> Pretty quick he's going to realize he's losing the battle here. Yeah, he ain't giving up. Turn that nose. There you go. Nice bike. A lot of color on that. Yeah. Almost like a Canadian color. Yeah, they're definitely fun. Yeah. Oh. I would have hugged him, but you know. Pike out of control. <laughs> hey everybody, it is our Leroy lunchtime, and I'll tell you when you're on the lake, I can't think of anything better to cook up than something made by Leroy's. And you know what? We have been on lately the venison. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna have venison prime rib burgers. And you know, I'll tell you something. If you ever have anybody that doesn't like for some weird reason the taste of venison, have them made into the prime rib burgers. You'll never, ever, ever think that it is venison. They're absolutely delicious. Oh! oh it's a start. It's a start. <laughs> 16. 16. 16 and yum yum. Oh, what are you saying, buddy? Walleye? Walleye. Oh, ho, 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 ho. let's see if the master. Stinker's ready. What's he got, Stinker? He's saying, come on, Chris. Pull through a walleye. Come on, Chris. Woo, Stinker, you were right. Look at that. He loves walleyes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Did that Wally just slap you in the nose? Tail slap. Let's get another one. Hey, how far off the bottom? When you're fishing a clear body of water like this, do you tend to put your baits up a lot higher versus if it was a stain system? I'm fishing bigger bait and I'm fishing higher up. Okay. The fish look up and yep. a bigger silhouette. So I'm typically fishing two to three feet off bottom. We used to call him Little Stinker, but now he's Big Stinker. <laughs> get him, Scott! <laughs> he got him. Good job, Scott. <laughs> Scott saved him. Yes, he does at home. Yep. Yep, at home in the shop. He, he likes his litter box around here. Are they asking about Larry or the skunk? Oh, yeah, Larry, no, he's, he's not potty trained yet. Oh, no. No, what? Larry, he pooped on your jacket. He pooped all over your stinker. Stomach. You know better. Well, I suppose I don't have a litter box for him, and I left my jacket in here. Good thing. Well, I always tell you, folks, don't leave home without your tumble towels. And prime example, my brand new Eskimo jacket, which I was being hey, dude, I was being nice to you, letting you so you didn't have to sit on the snow. And look what you did to my Eskimo jacket. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, she's clean, though. Hey, Terry, you know, we talk all the time about the heated system of the Bite Me Box, why that's so important, but really, the weight system is probably one of the key things. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's our <clears throat> it's our patented system, and it's, it's actually the key to why these things catch so many more fish. And we hear this from our customers all the time. They'll maybe have one or two of these out, and they'll have about 10 other tip-ups, and I'm not talking about when you're fishing for pike. I'm talking about when you're fishing light bite fish. Crappies, crappies perch. walleyes, perch. Yeah. When it's cold front conditions. 
everybody knows how well tip downs work, but the two times you can't use tip downs is when it's really cold or when it's really windy. Exactly. That's where these come into play. You will not get wind trips in 40 mile an hour winds. And uh, you know, it can be 30 below, five, six briquettes of charcoal. You're gonna get six, eight hours out of it. That's pretty good. But we'll show you real quick here what we're talking about. We got rid of the spring type flag. There's a weight, a lead weight encapsulated in this urethane and our reel swivels. And we're able to swivel this reel and set the slide weight so it is just ready to fall off of there. And I mean, if a crappie or a small fish even comes up and breathes on that, it's going up and there is zero resistance. You try that with most spring type flags and you pull, you're gonna feel that initial pull. Right. And then in addition, we have the inline reel. So there's no drag where a lot of other ones have the off the side and there's a little bit of drag there. Some days it doesn't matter. Stinkers. The stinkers back <laughs> at, in the Eskimo staying warm. Ooh, pretty small. Lose them. Don't small. Lose them. Might be perch. That's a perch, I bet. Sure. Perch. Whoa, -ho, you were right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, indeed. Was oh, it that it one over like there? Pike, so else take it. <laughs> oh no, this is no pike. Oh, he's going a slow roll. Oh, That's what slow. you want to see. That's a slow roll. Oh, nice snow. Look at the that. swim, I love that. Well, you're you're going through a lot of different. Spectrums. Well, I'm like a weatherman, you know. Oh, look at that. I said 18 to 20. I wasn't well, far. Oh, nice. 16. I'll take them like that all day long. You know, perfect eating size. You know. Another one. Wow. Right. Is that what you're I'll get the hook out of this bad boy. <laughs> We're leaving you, buddy. We're leaving you. Sure. Hey, I like to keep my hands warm. You guys are looking for a new pair of mitts, choppas. Check out the new Eskimo choppers. Oh, right, we're hooked up. he came all the way back. Up. I'm liking that. I'm thinking, oh, perch. come on. What are you thinking, I'm thinking, Tony? I'm thinking nine inch perch. Nine inch? No, no. Nine inch. Perch. Another perch? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, nice perch. Nine inch perch. Nine inch perch. You were right about Eight the perch. Why did I doubt you at all? Customized pink one. Let's go. <laughs> Hey right, Chris! Oh, look at that! Line out. I like this. this right hey, here. we gotta talk about this fancy box, man. We don't make them like this. Check this out. <laughs> Custom. I One of a it. kind boxes. This is the man that painted that though. Me, my <laughs> wife and daughter painted these tip ups like this. Oh, oh, there's that, some that weight. Like there's some weight there, there. That looked like you had a little weight there. That looked like you had a little weight. Oh man, come on, let's see, let's see. You lose a fish. Don't horse him now. Don't get nervous. Oh, there's what do you got? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. oh nice fish. That's a fat little guy. Yeah. Oh, and he popped, popped right out. off. That, nice release. Woo! Nice. Good one. That's a good that's a one right there. Hold man. that up a little bit. I guide pretty much over 300 days a year, and the people that I bring into my boat aren't just customers and friends, they're actually family. And I always try to keep these people as comfortable as I can and safe, and I cannot think of a better product than a warrior boat. Why is their customer service so good? Because they know that you're part of their family. Come join the warrior family. Let's talk real quick about a nice fish. Congratulate on that. Let's talk real quick about the tire shops, right? Tire because shops. you know what? You do me a favor. You put me on such a great bite every time we fish with you. Yep. Every time I need tires for my vehicle, I go in there. Yep. They always take care of me right away. That's absolutely huge because I'm on a kind of a goofy schedule. Like I'm supposed to be at Beta Knock right now fishing, but you know what? They had some bad weather there. There's a big storm there. So we're not going up for a couple days. I called you up. You said, hey, I got a great spot to go fishing. Yeah. You know what you want to go? Let's yep. go. So let's talk about the shops real quick. Got well, three shops. Three shops, Appleton, Oshkosh, and Shano. The nice thing about my tire shops is it's first come, first serve. So hypothetically, you get a blowout on the highway. You need tires right now. Like Larry needs tires right now. Yep. Come in, we get it done for you right away. Exactly. Great used tires. You betcha, and new, and new. Don't forget about new. <laughs> and, uh, all right, hey, all right. and there's another flag. Let's go get another one. Oh, yeah. Look at that, dude. That is absolutely so cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Nice fish. <laughs> Hold that one up, Chris. Woo. There you go. Loving that. Come here, little buddy. So, 
let's let's talk about this. I mean, oh. I'm jigging over here because we had four flakes here in the last 20 minutes. You caught three fish out of here. Yep. And uh, so you, when you've got these massive spreads of tip ups, so let's talk a little bit about what, what this is. A vulture system. And what we do is a magnet system on here. When the magnet comes off, trips to the flag, trips the magnets, sends a sensor, sends an, a pulse to the, our, our sensor here, and it buzzes off. Hey, everybody. It's just acting stupid tonight. Oh, oh my, my God. God. That's the really one we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> That's one better one. There you go. That's better. That's better, gang. Hopefully we can keep the streak going. But yeah, this is a nice one. Let's let her uh, get the hook out and let her go. Almost 26. Yeah. Almost 26. 21. There he is, the old one and only Clinchmeister. <laughs> He's got the guy's got a bad knee. If anybody's got any money, send him money. Okay. He needs yeah. he needs a knee right. replacement already. Fight the fox guy is here, help him out. 18 years old, knee replacement. Yep. Never played really any sports. Nice the walleye. There's a good one. Yeah, hold him up There's there, Clinchy. There you go. Got one, Lair. Hold him up <laughs> on the board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that guy. Oh, the Clinch. <laughs> you know the fishing's good. Rick Flair. Woo! Rick Flair. Woo! I love Rick Flair. Woo! You know, it's all about enjoying the great outdoors, and we are so fortunate in this country to have the things that we have, the great resources, you know what, and I always want to give special thanks to all of our military men and women for the great service that they have given us and continue to give us, along with all of our firefighters, paramedics, and no doubt all of our law enforcement agents also for their great service. And it is a great day to be alive. And the best part is, everybody, yes, the best part, we're going to see you guys and gals again next weekend. And thanks for joining us. What did I do? What did Chris do? Oh, my God. Was Larry here to sabotage me? Cut to commercial. Cut to commercial. Let me get her. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> this is half hour show. I thought maybe he's like a, a groundhog where he's seen a shadow and he's like, oh no. Back in. No, he's a lot higher class than a groundhog, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, right. No offense to you groundhog lovers, but Sinker is definitely one notch above a groundhog. Maybe even two or three. You got a crow call too? Da, da, da. You got a lot of time on you. There's our line marker. He's embarrassed. You ought to be embarrassed, you little stinker, you. <laughs> <laughs>